Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a fantastic game played by Vasily Malinin against Konstantin Andreev. The game was played in 1989 in Leningrad. But before starting our game, would like to warm up your brain, please take a look at this position and try to find the winning move for white. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. And now, without further ado, let's go for our game and see what happened on the board. Malinin opened up with d4 and Andreev responded with knight f6, c4, c5, d5 and b5, black goes for Benko Gambit, c takes b5, a6, b takes a6, bishop takes a6. In this opening by sacrificing a pawn, Belek is obtaining fast development. Later is fianchettoing his kingside bishop, which is putting pressure down the a1 hj diagonal. And also, white can use the half open a and b files to put pressure on white's queen side. Knight c3 was played, d6, knight f3, g6, g3. Bishop g7, and instead of proceeding with his development, white decided to start launching attack, and he played h4, black castled king side, and this time we have h5, look at this guys, knight takes h5 was played, but the answer was fantastic, here Malinin went for an exchange sacrifice, in order to weaken black's king side, g takes h5, we have queen c2, Knight d7, bishop g5, knight f6, bishop g2, rook b8, and white castles queen side. A very rare scene in Benko Gambit where white is castling queen side. This is actually a very daring decision, and let's see what's going to happen next. Queen a5, we have rook h1, and knight takes d5, which is a strange move. Instead of knight takes d5, at this point black could go for rook takes b2 sacrifice, after which white's position will go down very quickly. If queen takes b2, then knight d4 is very strong. Yes, this fianchetto dark squared bishop is suddenly getting activated, and this can cost white the whole game. If queen b3, then knight takes c3. If bishop d2, then bishop takes e2 is coming. And after the exchange on c3, later black will also play c4. And yes, looks like that black's attack is going to be decisive. But in our game after rook h1, we have knight takes d5. Although I have to mention that knight d4 was as strong as rook takes b2. If queen takes e4, then only now rook takes b2 can be played. But Black missed his chance and played knight takes d5. Here comes knight takes d5 and rook takes b2, after which Black is starting to face serious problems. In here it was important to play rook e8, and already this knight takes e7 move is not dangerous because Black can simply recapture with the rook, and yes, white is in trouble, there is not much white can do. But in our game after knight takes b5, we have rook takes b2 straight away. Here comes knight takes e7 check, and after king h8, Malinin made another fantastic decision. This time, by the way, can you find his next move? Ready? This time he went for queen takes h7 sacrifice. Guys, what's happening on the board? King takes h7 with rook takes h5 check, bishop h6 and white rook is also munching the dark squared bishop. King g7, knight f5 check, king g8 and bishop f6 with a direct mating threat. Here Andrev sacrificed his rook in order to get a chance of starting chasing white king with his queen. Queen takes a2 check was played, bishop b2 with queen c4 check, bishop c3, still there is this mating threat, that's why black played f6, and now we have knight g5, although playing rook g6 check could have been better, and then knight g5. There are very dangerous threats like rook h6 check, and then knight d7, and then rook h7 checkmate. And of course this queen takes e2 check is not dangerous, white king can always find a safe shelter. But in our game after f6 we have knight g5. Rook e8 was played which allows white to mate in 5. By the way, instead of playing rook e8, if a move like f takes g5, then in this case 
rook h8 is coming and the knight takes d6 fork is coming and yes white is winning after knight g5 the best defensive move was rook f7 but even in this case after bishop f3 white's attack is going to be very dangerous by playing bishop f3 white is first protecting the pawn on e2 and only then wants to win black rook and yes black king is in danger if you move away your rook then rook g6 check is coming and then rook takes f6 this is going to be a total destruction guys but in our game after knight g5 we have rook e8 as i've already mentioned this allows white to check mate in 5 and now you can pause the video and try to find that mating combination ready in this position vasily malinin played bishop d5 check he also sacrifices his light squared bishop in order to unpin the dark squared bishop queen takes d5 was played and this time we have a rook sacrifice guys what's happening on the board king takes h8 bishop takes f6 check king g8 knight h6 check king f8 and we have a brutal checkmate on the board look at this beauty guys i have already forgot how many pieces were sacrificed in this game but one thing i know for sure that this game is simply fantastic thanks for watching if you liked this game give the thumbs up for more games consider subscribing to my channel also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads i will see you in my next video